Hello again, and welcome back for our fourth episode of A User's Perspective of Dillette Flex. Today, we're going to talk about Workflow Wizards, which was actually a special request from one of our viewers. So wizards, what are they, what do they do, and how can you make one? Let's start with the definition of a wizard. A wizard is an ordered sequence of screens, or pages, through which you interact with Dillette Flex to carry out specific work. Dillette Flex's wizard framework is highly extensible so that developers can create their own wizards with their own associated screens. What this means is that a user, assuming they have the required permissions, can easily select the wizard button shown here and launch a workflow on an object in the system. Once a workflow is chosen, the user will be presented with another interface specific to that workflow where the user can enter any additional information required to run the workflow or select any options that may change the direction and outcome. The workflow is launched in the background and the user can either watch progress in the wizard progress window, the operations dashboard, or the Dillette Flex core user interface. We can see how the workflow is using the data and options that were specified by the user in the wizard. In this workflow, the user entered data and options stored within this metadata variable in the workflow configuration. The workflow can parse this metadata and make decisions on which path to take based on the workflow option inputs. So how do we make a wizard? Remember that a wizard is not a workflow. It is a user interface item that makes launching a series of decisions and workflows easier. To make a wizard, we first start out with a workflow. Typically, it's an often used manually triggered workflow. If the workflow requires any user selected data or options, the wizard will require a unique metadata definition for the user to enter those values in the wizard user interface. There are two types of wizards, but for the purpose of this video, we will focus on the external wizard type. There's also a generic wizard that requires custom HTML pages to be constructed. But the external wizard uses pre-built user interfaces within FlexMAM for user interaction. You will need access permissions to the Dillette Flex core user interface. Go to the wizard section and press the plus button to create a new wizard. Fill in the relevant details such as name, visibility, plugin, run rules, and so on. Then click Save to finalize. So a little bit about run rules. With run rules, you could, for instance, configure a distribution wizard to be available only on assets that successfully went through a review and approval cycle, or contains a certain metadata value, or even restrict to a particular user or group. In this particular wizard, the run rules are set to allow the workflow if the asset is either a version or a media asset which means it will not allow you to run this workflow on any other asset type. Next, click over to the Configuration tab and click on Edit. Here, you're going to enter the URL for your Dillette Flex deployment, plus all the wizard parameters as you see here, which can include the workflow ID, the metadata definition ID, and how you would like the wizard interface to behave. But don't worry about remembering these options. They are well documented on our help pages, and you can see the options here. When you're finished configuring, simply save the configuration and enable the wizard. Now, you should be able to see the new wizard on the FlexMAM user interface associated to the object or run rule you defined. If you don't see it right away, just do a quick refresh and it'll be there. Here's the new wizard on the object I've specified. I can select it and launch it from FlexMAM, and we will see the metadata form open up on the screen. And that's a simple workflow launching wizard in FlexMAM. Thanks again for watching this episode of Quick Cuts with Dillette Flex Wizards, and don't forget to like and follow this video series on YouTube to be updated on the next release.